carve up his... You know, that, you know all those rune, bone runes she's been giving us? I think now we know where, where they've been coming from. I thought, I thought they had to, I thought they had to be made out of whale bone. Are you ready to I'm not sure. Maybe she seems to be able to use just bones in general. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Now you you can you can help her or defy her. Not going to help Granny. Well, I'm disappointed. You better. We're obviously just gonna kill her. I assume. Well, it's it's not it's not quite that simple. You cheating bastard! You're down here too. <laughs> the least you could do is help me out. You swindled me. The passion of the slackjaw. <laughs> and all along, you were the same bastard who killed the emperor. He's got a lot of rings too. Notice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Word is I wonder if that's just like a thug thing. All right, Granny Rags must die. Oh no! I'll kill <laughs> and cook you. So many rats. We couldn't fight them all. Very nice, Granny. Look around. Well, it wasn't nice to tell her that she must die. Okay, yeah, this thing about... I know the cameo don't look like her. The cameo. You know how liches work in Dungeons and Dragons? The yeah, phylactery. The it's it's kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Not a lot of, Not people. A lot of people. It's familiar with your old fantasy lore. And I'll be honest, the only reason I, I can remember phylactery off the top of my head is because I was just reading about two of horrors. Okay, see, I shot, I killed it. Watch, what happens if I kill her? Swarm of rats. She's not gone. She. Hmm. Remember when we were just fooling around back in Dun in uh, early mission? I killed her and she just turned into rats. If you do that and survive, she'll come yeah. back. Uh oh. Ah! Keep in mind, this is Susan Saran Academy Award winning actress Susan Sarandon here. <laughs> and he's cameo. She hide that under her pillow? Granny's cameo in the furnace. Something like that. Close. You really can't imagine what she does. Now you'll see what I can do. It's too late for him, and it's too late for you. No hard candy for you this time, dearie. It works best if I boil you. And you were such a nice young man. When you were helping me poison all those people. Alright, yeah, you kill enough. Alright. Throw the switch. Make a cameo. Okay, now, that doesn't kill her. It just means that you can kill her now. The cameo is what lets her come back. I, I see. That you were a fool. There's this really horrible, unearthly wailing sound when you kill her, too. That, like, goes on, you know, it can't possibly be coming from her throat. Yeah. But... It's like, just, you know, I don't know, her ghost or whatever. Got the key. Oh, check, check this! I'll show you some of those. There's yeah. some creepy-ass occult symbols she's got everywhere. So does she have a unique kill? I'm not sure. I got her from behind. I think I kind of got her from the side or behind, so. Unlock me. Hmm. Alright. Still wearing those golf pants. Wanna know something funny? 
Yeah. When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corporal. I'm just like enamored <laughs> with that mustache. It, it, it is a, it is a fine it mustache. Sideburns. Yeah. I mean, I can't grow one, you know. Strange Skelly manuscript. Excerpt from Untitled Manuscript, written Snowing. in a scrawling hand. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Stronger, str stronger than Scrimshaw? A skull full of guile. Whale bile. Bones in a pile. White scraped gleaming. Kindle fire and crackle fat. Big black gobs of spat. Fume up. Fume up. Oh, th oh this, is, this is Granny Rags' slam poetry, I see. Feathers. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is just... Feathers. Mad-eyed bird fell to ground. Seeds. Nettle. Needly. Needles C. Stir a bit. That's Granny... I guess that's Granny Rags' home, you know, old-fashioned home recipe for magic artifacts made of human bones. Just like Grandma... Just like your Grandma used to make. Yeah. Now, you can side with her and, like, kill Slack... Oh, you can kill Slackjaw and you throw him in there. But we... I couldn't... I could That seems much easier I than couldn't, the boss Yeah, fight. I couldn't do that to that mustache, though. Yeah. Yeah, check this out. Thank God you couldn't find the time to shave. This thing is so freaking evil looking. Skull, there's, ra there's a bunch of rats. Wow. So it looks like, like, like a pitchfork and scythe. Some lady with an X and a V over her a medallion. It's so funny that uh, a scythe is now scary when, like, its original purpose is just harvesting yeah. wheat. Yeah, there's some. There's all sorts of weird symbols. Who knows what they mean? Oh, the Leviathan Sorrow. That's what we talked about before, that anti-whaling thing. Interesting that she would have Right. It. Yeah. Well, it's right next to the incinerator, so maybe <laughs> she burned it. Oh, check out that painting of the Outsider. And you know, that's a Sokolov painting. And it's interesting that Sokolov apparently has a pretty good idea of what the Outsider looks like. Somehow. And that's how he appeared to us. Well, I... Yeah, I could see uh, him torturing people who have seen The Outsider. Yeah. Or at least, like, tracking them down and getting a... Uh, okay. Explorer's Journal. Description. Explorer's Journal. Um, remember the references that uh, uh, Granny Rags or Vera Fanning, as she was once known, she went to uh, Pandisio with her husband on an expedition? Mm. Here's something interesting. Dr. Hazian's interpretation of the Pandisian carvings are the height of ignorance. The core theme is not renewal, but dire warning. The central figure is not a benign spirit. It is clearly a monster, and the jewel a type of fetish, the key to its dark potency, perhaps. The panels should read as follows. The hero figure steals the jewel from the monster and casts it into an unquenchable fire. Thus, the monster is made mortal, and the hero is able to break, slay it, breaking the cycle of terror. Note scrawled in the margins. Vera has taken an inordinate interest in my field manuals. Such appetites are unseemly in a lady of her station. I shall have to reprimand her. Second note, written in a different hand. So dreary, dreary, dreary. So, yeah, it looks like Granny Rags learned that trick somewhere when she was in Pandisia. Remember how people go to Pandisia, they have a tendency to just go crazy? Yeah. So... Bit of a, got a bit of a leak there. Hmm. 
And this time she didn't turn into rats, she's just freaking dead. <laughs> Weird. Insane writings on the walls. She's done her last moonwalk. <laughs> now, would you use a phylactery to stay alive forever? Would I have to be a, like a living... Like, assuming it was just like... Would I have to be a living, decaying corpse? No. No, it'd just be a book. Oh, you can't throw no, you can. her in I'm there? No, sure you can. I think I just screwed up. Oh, can't you? Can't I? Oh, there you go! There. Try to lure me into your gingerbread house, will you? It's the 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 interaction between the in environment and the character models in this are not are not always ideal. <laughs> All right, there's the sewer key, and this is our way. Oh, but first, Look at that sextant's back. As they usually are. Ooh, look what looky here. Maybe he'll have something to say to us. Yep. You find your way into such interesting places. I love the way this one is lit, by the way. At the eye of the oh, storm. Yeah. In between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand. And a bottle in the other. Oh, Slackjaw is just such a dedicated butcher. Going, winding your way back to the pub where you last. Notice the shadows over his eyes kind of look like horns. Where is she now? How yeah. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. Knowing it's an interesting visual effect. You. Yeah. Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. Oh, oh. Although it makes me wonder if they designed it. You just killed the greatest assassin of the age. Did you do it for love of the Empress or Emily? Or was it the primal desire to rise above other men? Hmm. Do you even know why? That, that changes if you didn't kill him, obviously. Right. But yeah, that's just like the creepy, like, just like I said, the way they set him up with the lighting on him. It, fucking evil looking. But, it makes me wonder if they did, if they designed that first or they noticed that's a good after. question if they thought yeah they know say hey, that's cool let's keep it th let's let's play that that's a good question yeah. all right now leave your grandmother in the oven for about an hour and a half at 400 degrees oh. till she's a nice golden brown this is some fast is. water those rocks are probably like scratching also, the hell out of me yeah, thank God that. Good thing, uh, I'm a good thing I'm wearing a Doctor Doom mask. Yeah, good, th well, good thing the sewer pipe is wide enough yeah. for a person. Well, it looks like they had a lot of water to dispense with. Like, All right, now we're back. Yeah, but could you imagine if it if it funneled off into like a tinier pipe <laughs> oh, and you were no! just stuck yeah. at the end? I'd have to use possession on like a a fish or some sort of. Waterborne bacteria. <laughs> a rat plague virum, perhaps. And certainly changes. Well, it certainly changes your idea. Like, if you can possess anything living, yeah. then yeah, why can't you get to a microscopic level? Yeah, I... They don't really. Okay. Okay. These people. If this was. If I played Low Chaos. These people would not be infected. This would just be a small, like, community of surviving refugees. But on High Chaos, they're weepers. Well, that's not... Well, this is tangentially related, but, uh, like, try not to play D&D &D with, uh, super nerds. Like, Who else uh, would you play D&D &D with? Uh... <laughs> Just regular nerds. I've got a friend. He's uh, like really into physics and stuff. And um, we were playing a campaign. And he had to scale a cliff, like go down from the top. And I was like, you could jump off if you really wanted to. And then he was like, well, how much? Like he was asking for clarifications. He's a like a level three cleric, and one of his spells is a spell called Soundburst. And he's like, 
how much uh, how much force comes off of a sound burst <laughs> and so like he spent like 45 minutes doing the calculations <laughs> to figure out if he could justify jumping off a cliff and casting sound burst before he hits the ground his descent? to counter his yeah and and it, we ended up deciding that it would that's a that, that actually sounds kind of, that, I, I like this guy Nick I, I gotta say that sounds kind of he sounds like my yeah. kind of guy <laughs> Uh, he also, uh, likes, uh, grabbing onto people's faces and conjuring water. In game, you mean? To blast them in the face. Yeah, okay. with water. <laughs> hey, I'm sure he would do it in real life if he could. Um, but that's another one of his signature spells, or spell uses. Oh, here's some... So, uh, like, those are... Oh! oh nice. I think one of those guys, I think I only caught him in the leg. He might be alive. Good lord, you're, you're just, like, creating a weaker yeah. genocide. Yeah, and like I said, if... And it kind of, it it's cool to play through it on low chaos first, because then when you're killing these guys, you're thinking back to, yeah, yeah, on low chaos, these were still, these were, you know, friendly people. Yeah, just hanging out. There are a lot of them. Surviving in the sewers. Hanging out with the turtles. Oh, God. 